hey guys welcome welcome back to another video i am your girl ken alger and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscription button because this is the channel you want to be at especially if you're in canada planning on coming to canada don't forget to like this video if you see something that you like and leave a comment in this video this week this video will be focusing on a guide really a guide on how you can enter the express entry pool things that you need to do if you need to improve your points and not only that but also step by step guide to doing this to accomplishing this so if you knew nothing about express entry i'm going to make it as simple as i can <music> say this it is knowing and checking your crs score crs score meaning comprehensive ranking score you can research more about that but we're going to do it i will leave the link the canadian link the government of canada link for you to check your crs score in the description box down below the first thing you'll do you'll go on this website then the first question there you will see are you married are you single you answer these questions maybe you do not have an english test at the moment results you know yourself you know how well you know english if you do know english well then go ahead select the highest scores if you're outside of canada more than likely you will have to do als i-e-l-t-s Meanwhile, if you're in Canada and you have the option between doing ALS or CELPIP, I would recommend doing CELPIP. I've heard it's much easier than ALS. Go ahead and answer those questions. But here are some tips for this. There's a question there that always asks the amount of years of experience that you have working in a skilled job in a foreign country. Please do not be tricked by this and not put in the correct amount because while i was going to engineering school my professors always say garbage in garbage out so if you have a calculator and you put in foolishness they're going to get back out foolishness so please ensure you answer these questions correctly for skilled work experience ensure that your job is within a knock or more like they say you know a tear within the tear system if it is and you can prove that then you will put the amount of years that you have gained over the years also another trick to be wary of when you're doing this especially if you're in canada you will see a question about you having a labor market impact certification if you do not have a lmia this answer is no again if you do not have a certification from the province the other question asking you about your province qualifications or license the answer is no those are some mistakes i see people make all the time and then they get a higher score than they actually have if your degree is not evaluated by west or another evaluation body and says it is a bachelor's degree or a master's degree then right here you cannot claim points for having a bachelor's degree in canada you can go on west you can check your school that you attended in whichever home country and your degree and it will give you what the equivalency is but you will have to pay for that report to get the report so west also has a way that you can calculate what your degree equivalency would be west will it has a mock calculator that you can check to see what your degree is when in the canadian system so it will tell you whether it's equivalent to a canadian bachelor's degree before you pay for that evaluation okay any experience that you've gained in canada while being an international student that 
does not come towards your Canadian work experience. You have to graduate and finish school first and then start counting that work experience. So that's a tip for persons who are here in Canada now on a student visa. So now you check your CRA score, you know where you're at. This next step is for you to enter the express entry pool. At the end, it will tell you based on your CRA score that you're eligible for the Canadian Express Entry Pool. You can go ahead and start the application. Knowing your CRA score is very important because now, based on your CRA score, you need to evaluate whether or not you have a good score based on the current climate of the Canadian Express Entry jobs. You'll see another link in my description box leading you to where you can check the history of express entry draws. So, for example, if you have a score of 461, and that would be, for example, you're single, have a master's degree, and you gain that master's degree in Canada, right? That simply means, based on the current climate of where the government is actually pulling people, you would be too low and then that means you need to increase or improve your points that's for a single person for me i am married when i do my score and i have a master's degree with my husband i have points of 512 there about with no canadian work experience Add my husband's work experience for one year in Canada, that would take me to 530 something. That's good points. For me in that position, I'm good to go because once they do a draw again, eventually they will reach right there. So if you look at the history of what the draws of express entry has been like recently, then therefore it simply means that you need scores that are above 500 if you ask me based on my evaluation it is very difficult if you are outside Canada to get scores of 495 and above because that would mean you have a PhD especially if you're single if you're married then both of you have to have a PhD recently the government of Canada did a job for a federal skilled worker and the draw was somewhere around 490 something. People be arguing about why the government of Canada did a draw for federal skilled worker and not for people in Canada. Guys, listen to me. Federal skilled worker program is just a section underneath express entry, right? These persons, even though they qualify for federal skilled worker, they are in Canada because you have to be in Canada to be getting points like that persons who are outside of Canada and qualify for federal skilled work unless they been to Canada and get some Canadian experience and went back home more than likely do not have points that are that high so please to note that if you are outside of Canada and you studied you really have to be hoping fingers tight fingers crossed hoping and praying that hey they are going to do a job really low it's up to you but I like to say at the end of the day if you don't have a ticket you don't have a chance but if you're really interested in moving to Canada you cannot sit outside of Canada and hope that they'll come down to your score because the truth is you are getting older and as you get older your age also decreases so it's time for you now to start thinking how you can improve your score to increase your score simply put you need to start looking at more options if you're single maybe you need a spouse you can do the English test to get higher points the more points you get on the English test the more points you'll get in express entry job but also say you top out there then you can consider learning French yes and I think this is a good way to increase your, your points because Canada is a dual language country. French, Quebec, those provinces like Quebec is in need of labor. And if you speak 
english and french you already is setting up yourself to be more marketable than a lot of persons that's another way to improve your score next on the list another way how you can improve your score is by coming to canada and doing a degree whatever whatever it is coming to canada and studying in canada actually helps you improve your score normally up to like 30 more points like I said, you have the calculator, you can check it. You can put in these scenarios and test it. What would be the best way for you to improve your score? Another way you can improve your score is by getting a certification from a province. So for example, in British Columbia, we have the Red Seal, the trade certification or a license. I know if you're a public health inspector, you can do the exam in Ontario and then you will get that license to practice that gives you more points in the express entry pool if you probably have a trade like an electrician plumbing then you can look into doing the red seal trade for British Columbia in Alberta it is called another thing I don't remember the name right now but you can research that how to get your trade license or your qualification for a province research it and see if you meet that criteria and how you can go about doing that and another tip here is that when you're doing a program in Canada whether it be that it is an exam for a trade once you're in Canada or doing anything that's less than six months you do not need a student visa or a study permit to do that so that's another way how you can save money by getting a certification in a province. I've said this a lot of times, nursing aids or healthcare aids. There are a lot of programs in Canada, including British Columbia, because I love British Columbia, right? That offer programs like these that are sometimes online. You can check them out and you can use that as a way of coming to Canada. If, and once you get that knock, you can apply for PNP or you can use that in the express entry to get you more points, right? So if you're going to do a short course to improve your points, ensure that that short course will give you more points. One of the best ways for you to improve your score is PNP nominations. There are a lot of PNP nominations you can apply to, both whether you're in or out of Canada. The province of Saskatchewan has a PNP nomination that you can apply to, right? Especially if you have years of experience and you have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, you will have good points for Saskatchewan if you're young. Also, if you're old, the years of experience can help you get the points that you need. So check that out. For British Columbia, you will need a job offer in BC. And then for Alberta, once you're in the express entry pool and you have ties to Alberta, meaning you have sister, aunt, relative in Alberta, that will help you improve your chances of being selected by the government of Alberta for interest to live in their province. Prince Edward Island also has a PNP pathway that is free that you can go ahead and apply. Newfoundland also has a PNP pathway you can apply. I was in that pool also, so I can tell you. That's one of the golden ways to improve your points. And don't worry, I won't leave you here. Come back for me to give you the tips on how you can let PNP be your dream pathway to being successful in Canada. Don't knock it until you try it. Get it out of your mind that PNP is a way for people who don't have much points. Because if you look at that history, those points that they are selecting these days, those scores are very high. Very, very high. So, Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any comments at all, please leave your comments in the description box down below. 
please i love it when you guys comment that's how i get feedback and i love reading those comments and replying you see i always reply to your comments <laughs> all right thank you so much for clicking on my video and for watching see you in the next one